Hey, welcome back everybody. My name is Tick and we are in Final Fantasy. So today we are going to start with the goldsmith. So let's head on over there. I have went ahead and prepped for a bunch of these quests. So if we look over here, that's stuff for all the quests I've got to do. So over the next few days, we're just going to be doing craft requests. Oh yeah, but until then, I did happen to buy some stuff. So, here's a cherry bomb. Minion, summons, we'll do one of these a day. Summons a miniature recreation of a void scent bomb. Created via the thermal magical rendering of Umbrella. Charge ethereal energy. Guarantee never to self-destruct or your guild back. All right, so let's go ahead and use it. it. Says I can now summon a cherry bomb. Menu guide. There he is. There's my little cherry bomb, looking all mean and crazy. Look at that. But he's never going to self-destruct, so it's all good. And we're going to the Goldsmith's Guild. So what level are we, Goldsmith? 47? We need to get some levels on that. Eventually. Alright, so. She has Fox in the Hen House. Serpendi Serpendipity is in desperate need of your assistance. We'll get us a new hammer. Ooh, we got three new gloves. So we'll probably get them. Let's go ahead and start item comparing. Oh, that's good. Two. That's a plus five. Oh, that's a plus six. Plus two. It's plus eight. It's plus four. So it looks like we're going to get the uh, smock again. We're constantly upgrading smocks, it seems like. That's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and accept it. Come lend a hand, Tick Man. We have a mountain of commissions to fill. It's because of the upcoming Glada to celebrate the Satania's name day. Everyone who's anyone has received an invitation, and all of them intend to be seen wearing the finest garments and jewelry. Some of our more popular requests have been for headwear. And that's where I'd like your help, especially. We need three Electrum circlets of the highest quality possible. One set with Amber, one set with Spinal, and one set with Zarkod. You can handle that, can't you? And if you're at all curious as to why I'm giving you this particular commission, it's for Rorotron, your biggest fan. He's acting as the middleman for many of our transactions, you see. I knew he was ambitious, but I never expected him to raise the prominence so quickly. He became the talk of Oldo's high society, what with his impressive knowledge of the fine arts and his talent for obtaining anything his customers desire. Of course, what most are unaware of is that his talent is largely dependent on yours. In case you've yet to realize, it is your creations that have helped him to build his reputation. You haven't let him down once, Tickman, so don't make this the first time. Be the best goldsmith you can be and bring me the circuits when they're ready. Alright, this one took a while because that's a lot of materials I had to go out and farm. But we finally got it done. So let's go ahead and hand them in. Remember, Rorotron requested one circuit set with Amber, one set with Spinel, and one set with Zircon. Whenever they're ready, bring them here and I'll take a look. Let's go ahead and drop in number three. Bam. There we go. Electrum circuit with Zircon. One set with Amber and Spinel. 
We got level 48. So let's go ahead and hand them over. Look at that pretty thing. Niggly Electrum Circlet. Huh? I will not bore you with flattery, Greenhorn. I will simply state that you did well. If you will not permit Gigi to fill your head with materia, then he will not begin to fill it with praise, faint or otherwise. That's all for pretty of you. These circuits certainly deserve more than that. Take this one set with amber. Now, amber isn't a gemstone or a traditional sense, since it's comprised of fossilized resin and not a mineral. As a result, it requires different techniques to bring out its true potential. But you've managed to do just that, creating a piece which is both pleasing to the eye and beneficial to the wearer, especially one who wishes to more effectively channel his earth magics. In contrast to the natural vibrant of amber, the Zarkonion in the circuit imparts a sense of wisdom and worldliness. Of course, it also improves one affinity with ice aspected ether. Now that I think about it, Zarkon is not unlike ice in that presence of impurities can radically alter its appearance as for the circuit set with spinel i would say it strikes me as a symbol of confidence and power though perhaps i'm only saying it that because i know that spinel is elementary expecting to lightning you brought out the best in your materials and crafted three different yet equally magnificent circlets I will go so far as to say that you attained a level of skill rivaling that of our best goldsmiths. All that's left for you is to head to the Ruby Road Exchange and deliver them to Rorotron. Actually, I take that back. There's one more thing you should probably attend to. Do you remember our friend from the Sultan, Robert? He was just here asking to speak with you. I must confess. I am somewhat jealous of the special attention. In any case, he should be returning any moment, so perhaps you'll find him outside. I've no idea what's on his mind, but you might as well speak with him before making your delivery to Rorotron. Nigigigigi. Secrets and lies, secrets and lies. The man is not more than a miserable pile of secrets and lies. Please, Giggy, show some respect. I know you dislike Rorotron, but this is too much. We must learn to treat our customers with respect. This kind of behavior is inexcusable. Side, so don't concern yourself with him, Tickman. Please give my regards to Rorotron and Robert. Wasn't there a thief in the house? A fox in the hen house or something like that? Guess we're about to find out. Alright, Robert. Maybe Robert's thief and lies. Tick man. There you are. I'm glad I finally found you. I understand you're helping Mistress Serpentimony with some of the orders for the Sultan's name day celebration. I know you must be busy, so I'll get to the point. The Soul Sworn has learned that the Jade Fox and Notorious Thief may be plotting to imitate the festivities and rob our distinguished guests. We would not allow this to happen, of course. However, the identity of the thief has yet to be determined. Therefore, we have decided to discreetly investigate several of our guests, including your patron, Rorotron. He has no ties to the 77 caravans or any other major trade organization we can find no relatives and his activities prior to his arrival in the city are not unknown you've met with the so-called merchant several times and fulfilled numerous commissions for him have you not yet i wager he has shared his title if any personal information 
can you honestly say that you know this man? I tell you this because if he is indeed the Jade Fox, I fear you may be part of his plans. Do not turn your back on him, Tick Man. Oh. Well, that brings up some interesting information. Could he be the Jade Fox that everybody's looking for? I don't know. But until we find out, let's just give him his stuff that he's ordered. I mean, he wouldn't order this and switch it out with fakes, would he? Oh, look at all his stuff right here. That's cool. Hey, Rorotron. Greetings, sick man. Always a pleasure to see you. Have you brought the circlets I commissioned? Yes, I have. Let's take a look at it one more time. Mine direct hit. So they all do the same thing, it looks like. They just are different colors. I guess that's cool. They're spectacular. Simply spectacular. The woman who wear these works of art will be the toast of old art. I guarantee it. Huh, you're more quiet than usual, Tick Man. Is there something troubling you? Oh, let's not ask him directly. He does have jade eyes. So let's ask, why did you really come to Old Art? Because I so deeply respect you as an artist. I shall be perfectly honest. I confess that I'm not exactly the dedicated entrepreneur that I claim to be. In truth, I am a man bespotted with the trappings of the material world. I wander the realm in search of artisans' masterpieces. Not as a businessman, but as an altruist. Some men covet and hoard their treasures, but I would sooner share mine with my fellow man. I would go so far as to say that I consider this my sacred duty. Which is why I'm absolutely thrilled you have discovered... <laughs> which I'm absolutely thrilled to have discovered a talented goldsmith like you. As a pervor of luxury goods... I could have asked for a better supplier. Now, I must insist that this conversation remain between us. In this city, it's unbecoming for a merchant to have any motive other than profit, you know. Interesting. So, is he the Jade Fox? Should I have asked him directly? If I would have, that would have given away the game. And he might have admitted to it. Or he might have went into hiding. We don't know. Because we didn't ask him. So, back to Serpendipity. And let's get this quest knocked on out. Hey, little guy. There she is. Welcome back, Tick Man. I'd ask if Rotron approved your circlets, but I have no reason to believe he did. By the way, I spoke with Robert after he left. He told me of this rumor that the Jade Fox might target the Sultan's name day celebration. It's terrible that the rogue would even consider running a royal gala. Gods, what is the world coming to? I hope Robert catches the fiend and personally teaches him a lesson but let's not dwell on that shall we a name day should be a happy occasion i'm sure that everything will turn out for the best and we're taking that smock again thank you and that completes the quest so let's go ahead and update our gear thank you And now we are a little bit better of a goldsmith. So, thanks for joining me. And tomorrow we're going to hit up mining. We got the level 50 quest of that to turn in, so 
That should be exciting. Get some good gear. So until then, y'all take care.